Hey, bolo buddies. Thanks for watching. All right, you guys, I've got 25 bread and butter bolos coming your way. Items I bought low and sold for a decent price, $35 or less. These items sold for on eBay. Um, these are easier to find items, items that I source at thrift stores, garage sales, estate sales, mystery boxes, um, YouTube, you know, you name it. I Facebook, I source everywhere. Um, but like I said, easier to find items not going to make as much money. These are not big money bolos, but you guys, these are the items you can find every day. And I think that, um, all these small sales add up and a lot of them are 20 to $30 sales. So it's not just like $10 sales, but there are some, I do sell things that are $10. I'm okay with that. Those sales add up to big profits. Okay. Let's get started. The first item I sold is um, this Heritage Lace Victorian. Um, they're curtains, you guys. And they have like this house pattern on them. And the person bought two of them and they actually messaged me asking me if I had more. And unfortunately, I did not because I think they were going to scoop them all up. But they bought both of these for a total of $28.78. And they were all in for $32.46. Um, I got these at a garage sale for a buck. The next item I sold is this vintage Fisher Price um, Roly Poly Musical Chime Apple. And I did a, a hashtag shorts on my uh, Sourcing with Bolo Buddies YouTube channel about this. I actually pulled one of these out of a mystery box, a thrift store mystery box once, and I just threw it in the donate pile. I had no idea it was a Bolo. I didn't look it up. I should have looked it up. And some of my viewers were like, hey, you missed a Bolo. And I'm like, what? So I saw this at a garage sale for a quarter and I went ahead and picked it up for a quarter and I sold it for $28.80. The buyer was all in for $39.15 and this sold fast. It's from 1972, you guys. Fisher Price. The next item is this Calico, Calico, Calico Critters Red Roof Country Home Replacement Staircase. You guys, I part out Calico Critter houses all the time. I find them all the time. They're incomplete. And I'm like, you know what? There's still money to be made and I will part them out. My cost of goods for this was a dollar or less. And I sold this for $21.60. The buyer was all in for $31.06 for some replacement stairs, you guys. Crazy. Uh, the next item I sold is this Super Mario Adventures comic book. Um, this did have some condition issues. So what I did is I did a video of me flipping through every single page that way. The buyer knew exactly what they were getting. Um, I put those videos over on my reseller testing Bolo products, and then I attached them to the description. There is a specific way that you have to embed that into your description on eBay. Um, I do have a video that shows you how to do that. Just click on how to add a video to your listing. And um, if you search that on my YouTube channel, you'll find um, a how-to video. This I got at a garage sale for 50 cents and I sold it for $15 best offer. The buyer was all in for $23.65. If this would have been in better condition, I could have gotten more. The next item I sold is this vintage signed Crown Trifari clip. And this one is really old. And you know what? My husband was just asking me about the items that clip like this. I don't know if his was the same. Why can't I find the back? Here it is. His was similar to this, but you can see here's the crown trifari symbol. You definitely want a bolo for that. Um, but this is a fur clip, apparently. I don't know. I don't understand how it works. That seems kind of dangerous to me, just kind of hanging out there like that. Anybody know how that attaches? Um, I sold this for do 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 to do $25 best offer. The buyer was all in for $32.54, and my cost of goods was $1. The next item is the Calico Critters Replacement Balcony Railings, you guys. Um, I think it was from that same house that I just sold the stairs from. So you can see this is adding up, right? Um, cost of goods, a dollar or less. Sold this for $21.60. The buyer was all in for $29.16. And it was a different buyer. The next item I sold are these vintage cufflinks. Uh, cufflinks really range, you guys. They're typically bread and butter, but there are some that can go for big money. Um, I sold these for a best offer of 10 and they, uh, buyer was all in for 16 28. I got them at a garage sale for a buck and they are these automobile cars. How cool are these? I just think they're super cool. I had to buy them. 
The next item I sold are these vintage Trend Master Dream Garden replacement babies. Uh, there's four babies and two bottles. These are vintage, harder to find. I used Google image search to figure out what they were. These were in the mystery box, the vintage mystery toy box that I got from Auctions for Use YouTube channel. This box was amazing. Go check out the footage from that video. I unboxed it on this channel. Oh my goodness, just awesome. This ended up selling for $30. The buyer was all in for $35.10. The next item I sold is this Toy Biz War Machine uh, Marvel Legends character. I sold this for a best offer of $7. The buyer was in for $14.04, and I don't know where I picked this up. Probably at a garage sale or in a mystery box or something. The next item is this Peanuts Snoopy Millennium Celebrate Flag. Um, it's funny. You can see my legs. Uh, I, I still whited out the background with Photo Room, but you can see my arms. I didn't know how to hold it up. I wanted to hold it up. It's huge. Um, I want to say I got that at a garage sale, but not 100% sure. I ended up taking a best offer at 15. The buyer was all in for $23.33. The next item I sold is this vintage 1997 Winner's Choice Micro Horses Showcase Arena playset. It is incomplete. So I pulled everything out of the box to show people what they were getting. And I'm surprised how quickly it sold because it was definitely incomplete. Sold this for $18. The buyer was all in for $26.76. I got this at a garage sale for $0.50. Cents. The next item is this vintage God is Love tie tack pin. It is silver in color. It is a tie tack pin, you guys. And I just love it. I think it's so awesome. Um, it did take a little while to sell, but um, really cool piece. Uh, nothing, not seen anything like it, but I was able to find comps. I ended up taking, nope, it sold for the sale price of $12.96. The buyer was all in for $18.89 for that. And that came from my bulk buy. I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay, 344 pounds of jewelry. And I have a ton of videos of unboxing that jewelry. So you can check those out as well. This is a vintage 1997 cat's meow ornament. I picked up, I think I have over 20 of these left. Um, I was hoping they were going to sell better. I've only sold one. I took a best offer of $9 and the buyer was all in for $15.25. So I showed a picture of all of them just so people could see the condition. And then I put that I would pick one ornament at random. Um, I just wanted everyone to know that they were, um, I think they were new old stock, but they weren't, um, in the original packaging. So some of them had like some little, um, like you can see right here. Uh, let me see if I can show you. See how you can kind of see where the paint has peeled off. So just wanted to be totally upfront about that. The next item I sold is this vintage Jimmy North Pole skiing Santa. I got him at an estate sale for five bucks. Took a best offer of 28. The buyer was all in for 42, 40. And I've got a video showing how he works. The next item that sold is this... Uh, it's a soccer player and I probably should have used soccer in the title. This took like, I don't know how many years to sell. It was an awful pickup. I think the problem was my keywords in the title were awful. It was probably my fault. Um, I did end up selling it for $11.89. The buyer was all in for $23.67. I have no idea what I paid for. I don't remember where I got it, but it took a long time to sell. The next item I sold is this vintage stone alabaster marble egg. Um, I got this at a garage sale for $1. I sold it for a best offer of 10 and the buyer was all in for $18.36. The egg did have some defects on it. So I just disclosed it. I believe this is chalkware, this pedestal. So I took a 10 bucks. It was fine. But the funny thing is, is this sold after that to a different buyer, like the same day within hours, which is really weird. Um, it just kind of shows me that you are uh, not YouTube. eBay pushes things in the algorithm because I sold that egg and then I sold these eggs. I mean, they must have been pushing it or showing it. These are made in Italy and there were four of them. I got these at a garage sale for two dollars. The um, I took a best offer of twenty five, and the buyer was all in for thirty seven ninety five. The next item I sold are these vintage Uno nineties pop culture um, game cards. I think they're vintage. Maybe they're not. 2018. I'm sorry, they're not. They just um, had the 90s theme. 
Sold these for $10.50. The buyer was all in for $18.73, and I got these out of a mystery box. The next item I sold is this Schnauzer hand-carved bottle opener. Unfortunately, it was damaged. Um, so it took a long time to sell, and um, I didn't get as much as I had hoped. I sold this for $11, best offer, and the buyer was all in for $18.40. I think I picked this up at an estate sale a couple years ago. Here is a train that I sold. I sold this for $10.50. The buyer was all in for $16.85. I ended up shipping them the wrong train. I mixed it up with another order. So I had to send them a label to ship the train I sent them to the right buyer. And I had to send that buyer a label to ship the train to this person. It all worked out. Uh, it cost me about seven bucks in shipping, but both people have their trains. Both people are happy. They were cooperative. They were very nice. and it ended up being okay. The next item I sold is this Kurt Adler Carolyn Critter Plush Pig. These, I had two cows and a pig and they sold fast. I have no idea what the appeal was for these, but people wanted them. They retailed for $6.99. Um, and it looks like they're Kurt Adler, but I think they were probably sold at like, I don't know, CVS or Walgreens or something like that. I don't know that for sure. That's just kind of what I think. I don't know why I think that. Um, I sold this for $16.10. The buyer was all in for $24.09. I got that at a garage sale for $1. The next item is this Alvin and the Chipmunks singing plush. I got this um, from a garage sale. I paid $2 for it. Took a best offer of $15. The buyer was all in for $27.19. These are the Wonder Pets, you guys. These are a bolo item. They were not... <laughs> If they were mass produced, they weren't mass produced in large quantities. So they are a harder to find item and they do very well. I just sold a play set over on Mercari for $200 free shipping. That's in my Mercari video. Go check it out. Amazing. Um, I sold this for $21. The buyer was all in for $28.09. And I got this at a garage sale for a dollar. The next item is this Hasbro Marvel Venom action figure. Mystery box, guys. Thrift store mystery box. I would not have sourced this. Um, I sold this for $12.60. The buyer was all in for $20.84. These are these vintage goodie hair picks. I got these at an estate sale. Cost of goods was probably a dollar or less. Um, I have a video of my husband and I. We went into an estate sale. We split up. He got his stuff. I got mine. We brought it home. We did a video showing you guys exactly what each one of us got. The video thumbnail is a picture of my husband and I, and I think it says we split up at this estate sale in the title. So you can search that. Um, we both found some really fantastic items. I think seven to 10 things probably sold and I pop up sold um, the sold prices for those. And then um, I also show you how I listed everything. So it is also an educational video. I sold these for $22.40. The buyer was all in for $29.49. But in that video, there are um, so many awesome vintage items that we picked up. And it was really cool because neither one of us knew what the other person got. So it was kind of exciting looking through it together. But there's one item that I showed last in that video that I still don't know how to list it. Um, I just don't know what to do. Um, I'm just hanging on to it for now until I figure it out. But if you guys can go check out that video and give me some insight in the comments of the video, that would be amazing. Um, but yeah, it was a good sale. Lots of good bolo information in that video. Even though it's an unboxing style, I still make it educational. All right, you guys, there's going to be some videos popping up. Check out one of those. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Uh, leave me an owl emoji if you made it to the end of the video. And um, check out the description of the video for links to other places I'm at on social media and whatnot. And thanks for watching.